Hey guys, welcome back. I was just looking back on my old videos from like my first started. Dang, I was a mess. <laughs> Such a mess. Making videos helped me though, but holy moly, that, that is brutal. I don't want to go through that ever again. And even uh, my brother's case is still ongoing investigation. They're still looking into things. They still got tips coming in. So that's a good thing. He passed away August 2021. We found him November 21. And we got one of the guys went to court. I want to say he confessed in February. And now it is April 4th, 2023. Been through a lot since Jamie uh, got murdered and they hid his body from us. Christmas was hard that year. Uh, it was hard, that whole year was hard. I was stuck in trauma and sorrow and blah, blah. so annoying. And then I just get out of that, get back to work, start healing. And then my daughter passes away. In October. And uh, we waked her at home. So she came home on my birthday, October 6th. And I turned 40. It wasn't the best party birthday ever. Was, I had better birthdays. But actually... Not the first time anybody's passed away on my birthday or it's happened before. Um, when did my dad pass away in December? Yeah, a couple months after my daughter. Mm, so it's only been a couple months since she's went to heaven. And uh, still still battling that you know I, I have my good days my bad days yeah today was pretty rough uh, yesterday was a good day the day before that was a good day and if you hear this little punk you want to know it's true this guy. let me show you he's getting big look at him he's chewing up my mug say hi Ken. say hi look at me I'm a big boy look at me He's so cute. <laughs> Ain't really cute. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I want to keep those videos up or what. I don't want to remind myself of what happened. But then I kind of like... No, I don't like seeing it, but... It's good for awareness, I guess. I'm keeping them up. There I go. I made up my mind. It is staying. They're staying up. Oh, and actually, uh, I got sober. Not sure if I ever mentioned that. Because I was looking at those videos too. I was like, oh shit. Oh shit, that girl was a mess. But I kind of needed, needed to go through that to get where I am right now. You know? Because I stopped drinking for a little bit after Jamie and not as much once I got back in the routine and then uh, I didn't drink so much after Shallow either because it was broken and it just was no fun I just stayed away from it and I don't, I don't crave it at all I don't care for it but I did notice, like, um, not that I had a lot of friends, but I did notice that nobody was really reaching out to me now because I don't drink and I told everybody that. But I don't know if it's because, like, they think like, I don't want to be around that or, I don't know. I got a pretty good willpower. I quit drinking a few times. I can chill. I can be around it. <clears throat> I can go to the bar and whatever, and not want to drink. 
I can go buy a liquor store or whatever. I can have tons of money and I can afford to want to drink or whatever, but I don't want to. I don't know. Just ever since I became spiritual, I don't, don't want to drink. I don't want to feel like shit either. It's not good for grief. For me. For me. Everything is different for everybody. I've just been down that road with Jamie, like I said, my videos, my first videos. Woo, that girl was a mess. And that girl is gone. <laughs> she healed. She healed the hell. <clears throat> but yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm meeting this money on this project. Coolie. Oh, and this is my latest. It's called, you know what I named it and I already forgot. I wanna say forever within, forever within, I don't know. But that's a canoe and their little oars. And I use birch birch quills right here the sun and i want to make a i want to make a night mode a night mode one like same this but like stars on the black background i might have to use lighter blue i don't know i also go back in the beam I stopped beating when I was going through stuff with Jamie because I just wasn't into it. My, my soul wasn't into beating. I'd rather be searching for my brother. And that's, what, that's what I did. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to put it in a frame. I'm not sure which one. And this was my first order since forever because I've been working on other stuff. Sold all my beads, all my beads I guess. Sold all my beadwork already. So now I gotta restock, which is good. I like selling them all like boom. I don't know, I need to restock for powwow or something. <laughs> I always bug my kids to help me bead need more than just me. People like beadwork. It's it's awesome. They love it. Made with love and do it right. Practice, practice, practice. But it takes, takes a long time. Like I just started this like two days ago. <laughs> I had to measure it. I had to make sure these words would fit my beads. I had to make sure this guy was working right because it like, just takes practice. And see that? I'll fix that later. I'll fix these all. I save those gaps for later. Because then I like to fill them in because it happened with this one too. It happens the majority with your bead work. So I just fill in the gaps with smaller beads. And this one could probably use a little more. But yeah. Try to do this tight as possible. That's what my back looks like. <laughs> cool, eh? <laughs> yeah. You can tell I was trying to fix it up. Like the little pieces in here. Back and forth, back and forth. So I don't know. I guess that's just about it. That's the only update I got. James K still all going. Um, dealing with a lot of shit myself. I don't know. I miss my baby so much, but I believe that I see her when I'm sleeping. And I just don't remember when I get back here. 
probably why I'm this here in the morning. Because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to leave here and deal with Earth life. I don't know. It's still, it's still here anyway. Somehow, some, some way. But it, it gets rough. Like so much loss, so I don't know. It's just it's crazy to think back. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, but I'm just thankful. Um, I believe in the Creator and the higher. Creator, whatever you want to call it, Creator, God, your higher power. I believe in all that, you know. I just can't believe. Like it's crazy to think people say we signed up for this. Like you know, we signed up to come here, and the guides tell you it's gonna be hard. And when you get here, and it's freaking hard. I've been struggling since childhood. My childhood wasn't easy. Like, but it's so crazy too, cause like as I got older, um, like I left home when I was fifteen, just because it was just the struggle. It was I had a lot of stuff going on in my teenage years. I was drinking and I was smoking and just unstable home. I was getting sick of living that lifestyle, and I needed to change, but I didn't know what to do, and my parents already split up, my dad was already living in Charlottetown, I never talked to him in a while, but I called him up and asked him if I can come live with him, because it's too much living at home, and he said, yeah, I was 15, and uh, I didn't tell nobody I was leaving, I just... Up and left next day. Probably two days later. I don't know, but anyways, I just up and left. Nobody knew I I moved. I had my godmother call me up asking me why and stuff, but I don't know, I didn't want to I already felt like life sucked down there. You feel like you don't matter and I didn't feel like I mattered to anybody. My mom said, go ahead, call your dad. And so I did. And he said, yeah, come on up to us. And my mom didn't see that coming. And she was like, you ain't gonna make it so, you know. She drove me up even. She drove me to my dad's. Mm, that was it. <laughs> I never went back home unless I needed to go home and watch my sister, Jessie. And even that was rare. <clears throat> but as I got older, you start to realize like it's never too late to change your path. I'm mean, thinking I was 15 when I was fed up with in my life in Lennox. I was like, I'm out, I'm tapping out of here, I'm moving. <laughs> and I did. I thought about the Thought about it for a long time, like, I was gonna call my dad, I'm gonna call my dad, and, you know, I hope he lets me. <laughs> and he did. And it worked out. Me and my dad's relationship got closer, and we bonded. And I love my dad, I always did. He was a good dad to me growing up. <clears throat> And he went to heaven. And it feels like like he went home. You know what I mean? Like he's back home now. But it's just hard for me to accept that Jean Shallow and back home. Just well, I guess the way they left. But everybody chooses their life. Yeah.
how they're gonna come here and how we're all gonna leave. And uh, that was a huge impact them to going back home. Still fighting for justice for Jamie. But in good time, it'll come. Good things happen to good people. Stay in the light, you know? Those who do you wrong, they got their own shit going on. Here it'll settle with them. All right, don't get your own revenge when it comes to that kind of stuff. Don't even be a good person. You know, karma is real. Karma is real. Comes back to you. So if you're going to be good to other people, the world's going to be good to you. It's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. Especially if you know better. If you know better, oh, karma's going to come. It's going to knock you right on your ass. So I always try to be good. I was that person one time laughing at somebody and I didn't go fucking walk into a door. Boom. But it was funny. I had to laugh too because it was hilarious. It was like, karma. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It was funny. <laughs> I guess I can do karma or whatever, but that shit is real. So, mm-hmm. And it's hard to be a good person, especially when you're fucking struggling all the time, you know? A lot of times in my life, I was asking, like, why, why, why? Why is this happening? Why am I going through this? Frank, stop asking why now. I'm just like, okay. Send me guidance. Send me strength to get through this. I don't know what I signed up for, but... I don't know. All my hardships... Hopefully I'll help somebody somehow, someday, some way. Now I'm pretty much 40. I had a pretty wild teenage, teenage life. <laughs> I, my first guest was my grandmother. I think I was 9 or 10. Tried for her for a year. Life was different. A lot of life lessons that year. <laughs> Including Christmas and Easter and my mom being sad. I mean, she was depressed for like years because her mom passed away. For years. I remember some Christmases my mom would just sit in her room, not even watching us enjoying the Christmas gifts. I don't get it. But... I do now, but she shouldn't have stayed there so long. And she's still there, like it's not my path, I guess. Can't can change her, can't help her. Does it she does it her way. I just knew that I had to say Jesse every Christmas and Easter, you know. Jesse didn't have to miss out on that stuff once we all got old enough. Wasn't fair to her, so we did Christmas and we did Easter and we did birthdays. Ain't my other dog. His name's Copper. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so tiny. I think he got his fur on him. King's picking on him. <laughs> so yeah, uh, still eating my Buddha boys. Those things are helping. Helping my epilepsy too. I took seizure there in April. Uh, April, I guess. March. Beginning of March, I took a seizure. Okay, so they upped my medication. So I've been doing that. My marriage and then. Little boys. CBD oil. And everything that'll keep me chill because I was stressing out about fucking life, bills, and work. And myself I don't know I don't know man I did see something though online the other day it was like when our loved ones pass it's like we become the ghost 
I felt that. <clears throat> I, I got pretty depressed there for a while, real bad. So, I didn't even want to get out of bed. If it wasn't for Jesse, I probably would never do anything. So, I felt that. But, you know, you got to get out of that. Don't stay there, dude. Shallow wouldn't want me to stay so sad. Okay, stop. Stop it. No. No bite. We don't listen. It's too cute though. But anyway, okay, keep beating, split up these dogs, do something with them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and if you guys got any questions or anything, you know, comment below or something. I'm not gonna answer anybody's questions about anything. You wanna know something about my life? Holla! I wanna open a book. I wanna know how I'm gonna train this damn dog too, yeah. Throw some insight on that, or ask me how I'm doing it, or something. Just bully. But anyways, peace out.